Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Welcome back everybody. We're having a little fun today. I brought out my 16 by 20 oval canvas. I have my color to go, white, no silicone, no water, no glue in it. Straight out of the old can, roo right here. And uh, we're gonna get started. So I have a whole bunch of colors here today. I took Kiwi by Primary Elements and Juicy Pear Primary Elements and combined those two. Seeing they are combined because Phil knocked over the light and uh, tipped over half of my Kiwi primary elements. Yeah, well, that's true. I have Quinacridone Magenta by Golden, Rich Cobalt by Primary Elements, Candy Apple Primary Elements, Deep Gold by Amsterdam, Josanja Aqua. This is Pineapple Crush by Primary Elements. This is my Josanja Burgundy and my uh, Dioxazine Purple by Liquitex. This is Jasmine Primary Elements and Carmine Amsterdam. And look at you even got green in my red. Oh, I did. Jeez, the green was flying all over the place. Yeah. Holy cow. I wonder where else it flew. I don't know. It was well, all could over. Have, it could have been worse. It only knocked over the green. It didn't knock over all the rest of them. Yeah, and you have your whole uh, light that I is know. like a yellow. I know. It was not an aus auspicious start to the pour, that's for sure. Yeah. Thank God you just didn't go and knock all the colors over. I know. Guess what you would have been doing tomorrow. You, well, hey, it's easy to make all those colors, isn't it? Mm. Sure. It's not difficult, it's just a time. lot of time. Yes. Time is money for me. You know, I'm paid by the hour here. Or didn't you know that? Well. Oh. oh. Jeez, that gold got away from me. This is my Josanja Aqua. We're coming up with a little pineapple crush from Primary Elements. Hello, Booge. She's looking at me like she's saying hello to me. Booge got groomed what are you yesterday, doing here, so she's so pretty. <laughs> You're so pretty. I know it. It's a pretty girl. Yeah, Bouge and I, we're out on the streets pretty early because it's so darn hot here. I don't want her little paws to get burned. And I'm not putting booties on her. <laughs> hey, you used to put booties on her in Illinois when it was 10 below zero. baby socks. <laughs> That's true. Baby, ba oh, baby, oh, baby socks. socks. Okay. And she loved it. She would just stand there, let me put on her baby socks because that way she could go out in the freezing cold and her feet wouldn't get cold but yeah they were little baby socks the regular socks wouldn't fit her so I had to go buy baby socks and I always bought her cool colors because she's a girl you're taking care of the bubbles there huh yep tiny bubbles there we go tiny bubbles I still have a few, but that ain't gonna hurt anything. Now my nose is running, Phil. Ugh. Okay, now we're gonna do our cell activator. All right. Which is my oxide black and my Australian Floetrol. Okay, and you're using your stainless steel spatula on this one? Yes, I am, Phil. Hope I can make it halfway. Well, we'll find out. It's well, the, end, far away, the ends will probably uh, go off anyway, so it's... Always make sure you do have enough cell activator, of course, um, to spread it, especially on a, um, a long line like Kathy has here. You want to make sure you get plenty of cell activator on top of the paints that are put down in pigments. Okay. 
Okay, starting to get some nice cells. Oh, I did that one perfect. Kathy is an affiliate of Color Art Primary Elements and their products. You can have a, a nice 20% savings by using the discount code and link in the description box. There's also savings on Boom Gel Stain and the Australian Flow Troll Kathy is using and KS Resin. So those links and codes are in the description box. You can save some nice money on a very nice products. As you can see, her first swipe is developed very nicely with a variety of the colors that of course that she put down. The second swipe is coming along pretty good too. Yes, it is. It's blah, 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 boom, Phil. And look at even my little thing has oh, your a paper even, towel a even paper has towel. Okay. cells. Hey, we can put some on the dog. Get some cells going on her. Do you know how cool your head would look with this? <laughs> my, my bald head yes. with all these cells. Oh my God, would that look cool? <laughs> Everybody would think that you had your head tattooed. Mm -hmm. Oh, brother. Some guys have their heads tattooed. Uh, yes, they do. That has to hurt like hell. Okay, so I think I am just going to marvel this. Okay, there we go. It's marvelous. Got to get my special. Oh, your favorite, your favorite marble, huh? Yes, I cannot lose that. Okay. No. You got really vibrant, beautiful colors in the cells. I'm liking this, Phil. I'm liking it. Mm hmm Okay. Oh. Don't give me any problems now. Just not do this. Be nice to me or you know what, you're <laughs> going to be replaced. This should be quite striking with all the negative space, that's for sure. Yeah. You'll be able to get some really nice marble lines. Woo! Oh, you're tipping again. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm taking a look at what's going on here. All right. So I hope everybody's having some fun today, doing some creation, some paintings. If you are, head on over to uh, Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller, our Facebook group, and, and post your creations. I'd love to see them. We have a lot of great artists in there. And especially if you're a beginner, I can ask questions. You'll get some wonderful answers from artists that have expertise in all the different types of paint Pours. pouring techniques. Take a look at that. If you're looking to get fiber and beautiful cells like that, check out Kathy's recipe video 478. There's a link in the description box, and it'll tell you exactly the pouring medium she uses and the cell activator she uses to get results like this. Oh! <laughs> you're playing, you know, you're playing dangerously there. I am. It's working in my favor, Phil. When you go off, I'd like you to kind of go off in the paint so you don't have a... Right. Sort of a road to nowheres in the white. There we go. Okay. Nice, beautiful central swipe. 
super vibrant colors from the pigments and paints that Kathy used. Wonderful cells. And you had fun with the I'm marble roll. A little first. Okay. Of course, Kathy isn't done. She's Wants to do some enhancement, wrecking. Well, I've got to pop, pop, pump, pop some of these bubbles first. Shouldn't you pop them with your stick? This will work. A lot of work too. Okay. Yep, this will work too. But I can pop them after too. So, what do I want to do here first? I think I'm going to bring this in here. Kathy does have an Amazon shop, and it contains all the supplies you may need for paint pouring. There's a direct link to get to her Amazon shop in the description box. And of course she has her Etsy shop, which has all her original art for sale. And again, there is a link to that Etsy shop in the description box. We've put on uh, quite a bit lately because Kathy is getting prepared for art fairs coming up in a few months and so she has to have plenty of paintings for that but it's certainly you can uh, if there's something you like you can snap it up before she takes it to the art fair yeah there's some beautiful creations in that etsy shop oh i love how you're enhancing that That'll probably go off anyways. Mm, yes. But I'm gonna get in here. Okay, that's good, that's good. Yeah, really cool. Oh wait, I gotta go do it around here. Just uh, a little bit of wrecking with the tool creates some really neat edges to the creation. Okay, now, Handy dandy marble. And now we're gonna spin a little, Phil. Okay. Oh, wait, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to uh, pop these bubbles. I can see them now that you moved out of the light a little. Okay. Is there a lot of paint you have to get off? Uh, I hope I'll not, know when I first spin. I don't. These cells are so nice. I hate to... You with your cells I know, and your I know. blooms. I say it every time. I know you do. If, it, if you had your choice, you would never spin anything and you would have so many crevices and dents well, in know, your creations. I know you have to get some of the paint off. That's, that's the reason for that. But boy, boy, I, I just love it the way I know, it is. I know, I know. I do too, but things happen. That's true. Okay. Oh, wait, I don't want that there. I don't like that white there. Okay. Just about ready, Phil. Okay. Okay. Start out slow, people, mm -hmm. on this one, because Phil doesn't want to lose his cells. Yeah, that is true. You should start out slow, see how the paint moves, and go from there. If you need to speed it up, that's fine. 
But if you start too fast in the beginning, uh, it may distort the cells. And uh, wow. Pretty. Very pretty. Really pretty. Get an overall view of this. Didn't distort your cells, Bill? No. Picked up tons of different colors. I knew these colors would be beautiful. And uh, I mean, some of these cells have three, four colors in there, which is really cool. And here you can see uh, some of the glitz and sparkle that Kathy picked up from some of the color art products. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, is this pretty, people? Oh, I love this. Mix up some of these colors and uh, use them. I might have a goober there. Yep. I kind of like how you, this marble line sort of connects the two, uh, these these two areas here. It's like they're kind of growing out of the vine. Oh, so two. I had that planned. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not really. It just kind of happened that way. But this is this is stunning. It's yes. really, really pretty. When it's resin, it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. These colors come really to life when they're dry, and and they'll stay like this. They don't um, ever right. like fade. They they don't fade. Well, that's why Kathy uses the certain products that she does. Is she's found by using a wide variety of products over the years that uh, the products she uses retain their vibrancy and color the best through the drying process. So then once you either varnish or resin them, it's just amazing. Really, really nice. This is beautiful. If you like this, everybody, give me a thumbs up. I'm in seventh heaven. I mean, I love all these colors. As you can see, I am a colorful person. Not the way I dress, really, but on my paintings, I am very colorful. So, please hop on over, subscribe to our channel, hit that bell, because then you'll be notified every single time Phil uploads a video, and he uploads one just about every day unless we have computer problems. So hopefully we won't have that again for a while. But anyways, we love all of you, and stay healthy, stay well. And uh, remember, it's just only paint. And you can do whatever you want. You can create whatever you want. So we love all of you. And until tomorrow, see you later, alligators. Bye. There we go. Yeah, if, uh, if I had this painting, I would hang it just this way, with kind of the long way. Take another view of all the beautiful colored, multicolored cells. <laughs> that you created. Yeah, I'm loving this. I knew all these colors would be pretty. I just knew it. So.